Tonight, another packed school board meeting in Chesapeake. Nearly 40 signed up to speak about the approval of an after school Satan club. It's been a little more than a week since the club held its first meeting on school grounds. Then your side's Michelle Wolf joins us after attending the meeting. So Michelle, the board voted to revise its facility use policy. That's right, Tom. The board had two options to pick from in revising its facility policy, policy A and policy B. The main difference between the two options is how the board classifies organizations eligible to meet on school property. A two hour public comment with the main topic once again, the after school Satan Club. Dozens speaking for or against the controversial club. It's either all or none. This is not a volume knob. There's no adjustment for society's comfort level. If you allow the after school Satan Club to continue meeting, I doubt the craziness is going to end with bomb threats. You may have extremists trying to pick a fight with anyone or some other unforeseen nonsense. Worst of all, you have directly allowed Satan into the school. Including Christians who push for equality for all clubs regardless of religious beliefs. It is un-American to only allow one viewpoint to be heard. It challenges the strength of our Constitution. During the Chesapeake School Board's Monday meeting, the board debated two facility use options. The first only allows school-affiliated clubs to meet on school property, prohibiting the Good News Club and After School Satan Club. The second option allows both school-affiliated and non-school-affiliated clubs to meet. Non-affiliated clubs would be subject to possible security and staffing fees. So the Chesapeake School Board ultimately voted 5-4 to keep school-sponsored and non-school-sponsored clubs on school grounds. The after-school Satan Club can stay. Michelle Wolfton on your side.